Now to a new development in a Local 4 exclusive investigation. A Detroit EMT fired for refusing to respond to a call of a baby in distress. That baby later died. And our Sean Lay first broke this story tonight. He tracked down the EMT. Ms. Thomas, I'd like to get you aside, Ms. Thomas. First, Anne Marie Thomas closed her garage door on us, dodging our questions. Can I get your side of this story, please? Next. She almost hit our photographer as she flew down her street. Many think the now former Detroit Fire EMT should face criminal charges for this. It's Romeo 33. How long did they delay? That's the voice of a Detroit Fire EMS supervisor after learning that EMT Thomas refused to help eight month old Anaya Wright Trestle. She wasn't breathing, her mother calling 911 for help. Thomas and her partner were sent, but Thomas wanted to wait for another crew and refused to tend to the baby. Baby, fearing that the baby's family would be hostile. A supervisor in a report quoting Thomas, I'm not about to be on no scene 10 minutes doing CPR. You know how these families get. But EMT Thomas never went to the house, where inside it was just Inaya and her mother. She was performing CPR on her. An investigation finding that Thomas ignored four orders to get to that baby. 33, 51 is still given a 12 minute ETA. Ma'am, you have to make contact with your patient. There's nothing in the comments that state you have a hostile team. You have to make contact with your patient. Total response time when that other crew finally arrived, 19 minutes. And Naya died the next day. My daughter would have been here and she would have just came around that corner and responded for my, my crying of help. And that was our Sean Lay reporting. Right now, no criminal charges have been filed in this case.